I found Anna. She crashed through the roof of some pre-war bunker, bumped her head, and was unconscious for a while there. Luckily, she seems all right now. In the meantime, there have been some new developments at the Aurora. The Colonel wants me back there ASAP. And to Aurora we'll go. So where are we again? Okay, the Aurora is just north of us. I'm guessing the green line on the compass is... I think it means north. Oh, this is weird. You know what? I'm not gonna use the compass anymore. Oh god, I missed. I missed again! No, oh, no. I'm pretty sure that first shot was a headshot. You know, I'm gonna kill you now before you become a problem later. By the way, before I press record, I did some... Just a bit of exploring and I entered this house earlier and there's a tape inside of Crest. He was telling a story of how... The cultists, the villagers, chase his... Um, chased him out just because of a single flashlight and um, he mentioned some points of interest around this place I think he mentioned this house that it's abandoned and there might be some stuff inside so either we go to the Aurora right away or do some a bit of exploring oh god did, just, did that just alerted all of them oh god I guess I made a mistake Yep, they're looking for me now. Hold on, um, let me check them up again. Yeah, the Aurora is this way. What am I doing? Come on. See, when we check the map, um, it says the Aurora is this way. And I can even see the train from here. But if we check the compass right now, it's pointing behind us. Is it just me or... Um, Maybe we just don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to read the compass. But I'm pretty sure it's an arrow, right? Pointing towards the other way. Like so. But then again, if we check the map, we're on the right direction. <laughs> That's so confusing. <coughs> oh, just a bit of exploration. Is this one dead? I really want to explore that other house, but there's so many mutants in there. I mean, on the way, that I think even if we, if we, even if I get the supplies inside the house, the amount of ammo and healing that I'd use just to get past those mutants would be of greater value. So uh, I think I'm just gonna play it safe right now and just go and do the missions. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us. Even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. 
I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will have with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quick buggy, Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Whoa, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <gasps> oh, darling, <laughs> you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Um, just as when my annoyance with Miller started to fade, he does this kind of shit again. Where is Miller, by the way? Inside, probably, right? Good to see you alive and well, Artyom. The guys are coming soon and bringing the missing one too. <laughs> the missing one? What do you mean? Oh, Anna. <laughs> Just looked away, I guess. to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the trader's boat. Colonel, sir. We can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. You're so fucking stupid, Miller. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Of course, that's to be me. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. 
Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and they're also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. He could have just said, said that in the beginning. But I think it's still better to take the chance of... Um, bringing Katya and Nastya along with us then leave them on the fanatics where they'll surely be fed to the charfish or maybe they'll sleep on the snow and the mutant would find them either a shrimp um, a watchman, a beastman, whatever, a demon or even an anomaly whatever, for fuck's sake and by the way Crest mentioned the, the anomaly stone that can introduce us to the first game I guess that's why the cultists really hate electricity then. I guess it explains a bit. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> yeah, you have to install um... many attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Speaking of cleaning the gun, okay. <laughs> I guess it's doing a podcast. Try installing it. Use the workbench. Are you done? Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Are you sure? Maybe you have something else. To say. <laughs> every time, every time I try to leave, he's gonna say something. Watch. Ah. You sure? Oh, by the way, speaking of cleaning the gun. Anna. Thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom, Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one, it was scary, they live there. It took teddy to its children, <sighs> I miss teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I, I noticed something moving inside this crate. What the hell is this? Oh, poor guys. Yeah, um, Nasty mentioned her teddy bear, and I think it's marked on the map now. I really have to get to this, um, points of interest in the map. Uh, like, I'm really interested. Somehow, I regret. Somehow, I regret playing this game on hardcore in the very first try. Maybe I should have went for lower difficulty. Uh, but for the sake of the let's play, I think, for the sake of the let's play and some consistency, I think I'm just gonna keep on playing on hardcore. Uh, I, I'm, I'm also not gonna force myself to explore some of these points of interest. If I... Um, if they're on the way, maybe. 
And um, yeah, as I was trying to say, 10 years ago, <laughs> speaking of cleaning the gun, my gun actually looks filthy. Okay, um, wait, what? Sudden, all of a sudden, we have 123, um, what's this thing called again? Supplies and 100 chemicals. Shit, I wonder if this on only on the Aurora. Oh, well, how do we clean? How do we clean, huh? Weapon cleaning, there we go. Remove the dirt, grime, and water from the weapon mechanism using chemicals. If you allow too much dirt to accumulate on a weapon, eventually it will be completely ruined. No, completely ruined doesn't sound good, so let's just go and clean this one. That's it? Is it done? Look at that dirt though, on the stock. Holy shit, that's disgusting. Even on the barrel. This one... You know what? Might as well just clean everything. And these are the modifications for the TKR. Uh, standard pneumatic, sy pneumatic system into airtight. I wonder what the difference is. It doesn't show anything on the stats. Maybe on the description. Makeshift hand operated air pump works well but quickly loses air if the pressure is above normal. Air the thematic system works pretty much like the standard one but allows it to lose air if the pressure is above normal. Doesn't lose air pressure if the pressure is above normal. Okay. I'm guessing it's just less maintenance, less charging. Just keep going for the shots. This small makeshift magazine can hold up to 9 steel balls or 3 capsules. Uh, just a, I guess these are just direct upgrades. What is this? What? It has an exclamation point, but I can't do anything about it. Wait, what? What's this? Oh, I can trade this in to something else? I just want something that has a better magazine. I, th this one, three shots and slow to reload? I don't like this. What are the other options? A shot. What the heck is an A shot? A bastard? SMG, high rate of fire. Wait, what is this gun anyway? This one's a Kalash. And this was a revolver, but it only has three shots for some reason. Okay, what else can we do here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need ammo for sure. Especially for the Kalash. Wait, I can create ammo for the other weapons? What? But I really, really need some ammo. What the heck? Oh. This one's for the Kalash, right? Yeah, I think that's all we have. Alright, we have some meds. The weapons are cleaned. Um, we've got some new attachments. We've got some medkits as well so i guess we're just we're ready to go